Welcome to episode 11 of the Excited Bull Crafty Time. I'm Kim and I'm coming to you from Norman, Oklahoma, where I live with my fiance Jason, our three dogs, and a bunch of family. Thank you for joining me this week and if, as always, if you like, please like and subscribe down below. <sighs> it is, I don't even know, it is February 25th, almost, oh no, just after 11. It's a Sunday, so this will be going up today. I am not drinking tea. I am being bad and having an icy from 7-Eleven because I wanted it <laughs> this morning. I am trying to cut down on my plastic waste, you guys. So I dug this out of an old cabinet. It's an old 32 ounce thermo mug kind of thing. And I bought some of these silicone straws. They're really good. And I can wash everything and reuse it a bajillion times. So less landfill waste. We're trying. Pink is not my color. Not my color, but I didn't have to buy it. This is old. I have no idea if it's old from Jason's family or old from my family, but it's old. I have no idea who bought it, when they bought it. Most likely it was bought in the 80s, maybe early 90s by the look of it. I rock my pink and black mug. <laughs> okay. Anyway, la, 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 I'm a little crazy today. This is a weird episode, not just because I'm a little kooky today, but because we are going to blaze real quick through whips. Because I only have the two I've been working on for ages that you guys have seen. I am bound and determined to at least get one of them done by the end of February. So I end February with only two out of my six initial projects still on the needles, but um, this is still going to be a long episode because I am going to include, after I show you real quick my progress on the whips, I'm going to include my fiber share videos. So what that includes is my initial thoughts and the initial process on how everything got set up, me packing up my package for my fiber share partner me opening like this and <laughs> the third video or the third bit you guys is pretty raw uh it is me opening the package in front of the camera like no filter <laughs> it's a little goofy uh i got a little spazzy it was kind of late on a wednesday night when i got the package and i was super excited and then the fourth bit will just be my final thoughts on FiberShare and kind of if I think I'm going to do it again, if I think other people should do it, all that stuff. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be long. It'll kind of be clippy. Sorry. I thought it would be a fun thing to share my overall experience on the FiberShare with you guys. So real quick, before we get into that, let's show you whips. I have my socks in my my pineapple bag, my canvas tote bag from Julie, um, and I made quite a bit of progress on my socks this week. So when you guys saw me last, I was on the red stripe. I have done gray, orange, gray, yellow, gray, and the lighter blue. But the really exciting bit, the I put in a heel. So let's see if we can make this look sock shaped around the needles. There we go. Look at that. Look at that little cutie. Oh, so cute. Okay. I'm super excited about this. I was telling Jason I have some, I don't know what you'd call them. They're probably from the heel, from where the heel sits on the ground. They're probably that tall boots. So they're not really ankle boots. They're kind of mid calf boots that I like to wear a lot. And I think I'm going to make these tall enough to wear with those for winter times. So if that's the case, I have probably two, three more inches to go on the leg and then I'll add the cuff, but I'm really happy with it. The yarn, you know, I got that, excuse me, Patton's classic worsted instead of the Croy sock yarn for the heel. It knit beautifully. The heel feels super thick and tough. And I really think that was 
a great idea on my part. It did give a bit of a seam, particularly along the diagonal edge. Um, I did the leaky heel and gusset, which turned out really nice, and I really had been enjoying knitting that heel. I've done it now on these and on Jason's giant ch chunky socks. And then my other whip is my over my sister's oversized sweater. I should have had this prepped, but you know, planning. Who does planning? Oh, okay. There we go. Turned inside right with seaming. I have oh, it all rolled up. The entire body done. One whole sleeve done and attached. Done and attached. I picked up and so or er, knitted the neckband. And I am probably about a quarter of the way through the second sleeve. Going to get this done. I'm going to get it seamed on. And then this thing will go to my sister. I, I super love this, you guys. Um, it's a little short in the body. I feel like it, when I try it on, my sister's younger than me, but she's already as tall as me. So I'm slightly worried about that. But I also think considering the weight of the cotton yarn and the fact that this is garter, that as she wears it, it will kind of stretch down, which will look really cool. And I think it will then be like the perfect length. So it may be a little short to start with, but I'm okay with it because look at those colors. I hope it's picking it up because I can't see. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. And that's whips. So I hope you guys enjoy my fiber share videos. Hello. So I thought I would do a little like excited bold crafty time sub episode. This is going to span a few days, so I'm not gonna worry about times and dates and my whole spiel. If you are a new viewer and haven't watched anything on my channel, go grab another crafty time episode to kind of get a feel for what this normally looks like. This is not a normal one. This, I just wanted to sit and talk to you guys about my fiber share experience. I am going to try and go from start to end. So right now, basically, I have gotten my partner information. We have talked on Instagram some, both my partner I am sending things to and my partner uh, that is sending me some things. And I wanted to kind of just talk about that right now. And then I have a couple more things I need to get for my package I'm going to send and then the package that I'm going to send and then I'm going to do a uh, video that day of going through everything that I got her and how I pack it up and how it's going to be just very lovely and then when I get my package I'm going to film me opening it and talking about all the wonderful things that I get I know it's going to be wonderful because Okay, so I'm going to move backtrack a little. Fibershare is this kind of swap that has set up. It's online. You sign up, you pay $7 to cover, like, if your partner decides not to send you a package, because whatever, if it gets lost in the mail, things like that, the people who run it will then supply you with a consolation prize, so to speak, so that you still aren't left out fully. So the p two women who run it are Ashley Herman and Beth Meyer. And I don't know what kind of magic these girls have, but they matched me with two phenomenal chicks. I'm super excited about this. Uh, Yasina and Jenna are my two partners. Yasina is the girl I am sending uh, a package to. And like, Seriously, she's into sci-fi, she's into fantasy, she has pit bulls, just like me. I, it's, it's a match, like, magic match. I am super happy about it. And Jenna is the lady who is sending me the package, and she seems so into the fact, into making sure 
that she is sending me just the perfect package tailored to my interests. And it's just phenomenal. All three of us, this is our first time doing Fiber Share. All of us are really excited and I, it's been really fun so far. Just in like making some new acquaintances, uh, following the hashtag on Instagram, I've been able to make some acquaintances that way. Just like I did with my sister Shaw, I followed the hashtag and I made some new online friends that way. And it's just, it's really fun. So this is just my first preliminary video, we will have more to come, so this will just be jumping to it, it speaks for me, but it'll be seconds for you, so see you in a few seconds, flash a few, bye. Okay, so I am sitting here, it is Saturday, February 17th, I am drinking some chai tea from my fiber package that I got. It is delicious. I've never had, I haven't had a lot of chai tea, so I don't know how it compares to others, but it's quite good. It's not, based on the smell, I thought it was gonna have more of a spice, like, like heat to it. It's spicy, but more like a spice cake than like Mexican food, if that makes any sense. Anyway, this video, is I finally have everything together for the fiber package I am sending to Yasina. And I wanted to show it all before I wrap it up, and then I'll show it all wrapped up. And then after she opens it, I'm gonna do one last little bit where I sit down with you guys and I just talk about my thoughts on this fiber share experience that I did and it just how I felt about it all. So let's get into my box for her. I'm just going to reuse an Amazon box. I'm going to wrap it in some brown paper so it looks pretty when she gets it, but it's a good size box for what I have for her. I used some really pretty stationery. I'm not going to show the ones that have all my writing on it, but I used some really pretty stationery I had to write her little letter in it where I kind of go over everything that's in the package because I thought it would be sweet and I don't, Jenna, your letter is beautiful. I actually have it over here. Um, your handwriting is just so stunning. Mine is not, um, let's put this back together. There we go. Mine is not, uh, I have kind of chicken scratch. I tried Yasina to write it as legibly as possible. Hopefully you are able to read it all. Um, but I'm going to have everything numbered, and we'll go in the order that I have them numbered. And so number one oh, is the very first thing I found for you, Yasina. Uh, we got talking, and you discussed unicorns and mermaids, and I want So, this is from... Oh, I wrote this down and I forgot. Uh, Fates Threads. I do remember that is her shop name on Etsy. Uh, and I came across this little yarn bag, project bag. And it has, let's see, uh, this like princess. No. I don't know. I guess I, on the thing it looked higher up. Anyway, it has like this princess mermaid riding a seahorse unicorn like oh my god how freaking cute is that it's in these great muted colors the inside is kind of a charcoal and it's a drawstring bag so i thought it'd be really great for her she says she knits on the go a lot uh, so she knits a lot of like hats and I thought this would just be fantastic. It may be a smidge small, Yusina, and I'm sorry for that. But I think you'll be able to find something to go in it that will be great. And the wonderful woman at Fate Thread who made this also sent a... I'm not going to show the code because I don't want to share it. She sent a little, like, thank you code where she somebody get 20 
10% off your next order. And this little stickers. Hey. <laughs> it is a heart that says love with an arrow through it. And I thought it was a really cute progress keeper. And so I'm going to include that in Yasina's little bundle here. It's a project bag. I am super excited for, for Yasina. I hope she really likes it. I think it's freaking adorable. So that is item one in our package. The second is the one I already took out. This is some yarn from Casual Fashion Queen. Ooh, that was a noise. I love her yarns. I haven't, I say that, I haven't bought any of her yarn. There's a price on here, so we're going to mark it out. Because I was always told that was rude. Um, I have not bought any of her yarns before. I just eye them from Instagram afar, basically. But I saw this, and we're going to slip the little label off so you guys can see. Look at that speckly goodness. Yasina said she was all about the speckles right now, and I'm mean. This is Casual Fashion Queen, like I said, her cute logo. And this is her A New Home colorway. It's 100% Superwash Merino in her DK weight. Uh, it's probably a little thinner than Yasina usually works in. She said she usually goes heavier Erin or sport. I guess this is a sport weight. That section of speckles. Get this off the, the green. And she likes earthy tones, which I mean, how much earthier can you get? It's so pretty. Uh, I'm trying to remember Casual Fashion Queen's real name. I want to say it's like Shayna. Anyway, she does beautiful yarn. Her new colorway, Fat Bottom Girls has gotten really but it's like she updates her shop and it sells out in like that everybody is in love with this uh that that bottom girl's colorway it's adorable and i want them. okay and number three is some more indie dyed yarn i'm not going to take this one out of the bag because it's tied really pretty with this twine so hopefully we're able to kind of see it though this is from Ridiculous. Ridic ridiculous. I don't. I want to untie it. I can retie it. I can do this. Okay. I don't know why I'm scared of tying a bow, except for I'm not very good at tying bows, but it's so pretty. I want to show you guys, like, in its glory. This is her Eastern Shores colorway. It's a cozy, bulky, so it's. It's got a really nice feel to it. I really like it. It's 100% Superwash Merino as well. It's 106 yards because it's bulkier. Let's see if we can get that off. Oh, I haven't slid that off yet. Look at that section. It's hiding under the label. Okay. This one was a little outside of the earthy color tones for oh, what I thought for Yasina, but I just... This, it is literally just speckle madness. And I really wanted to get her a bulky yarn because she said that's her preferred weight of yarn. But I really wanted to get her some indie dyed yarn because it's kind of the one of those things that it's hard to buy for yourself sometimes because it's expensive. I mean, it's expensive for a reason. It takes work to dye yarn like this. And they're usually superwash merino, which is just really, it's really nice yarn. But I could, I thought the colors, I looked at her Instagram feed and I just like, she's going to like these colors. And bread, I didn't sew her label off of it, but that's her label. So maybe I'm mispronouncing her label name. Red, redlicious, ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous <laughs> yarns. Um, she was also on Etsy. I again found her through my Instagram. What she did, which was super cool, 
is she included this teeny tiny mini. Okay, let's see if I can get this. Look at it. It's so bright and cute. And Yasina is getting that too because I don't know what you do with bulky yarn that's this tiny, but you can find something to do because it's super cute and it's speckled. It's tiny little speckles on the mini. Look at it. It's magic. Okay. So there's that. And she included her business card, which I will also leave in the bag. Um, Brea is her name. Brea? B-R-E-A? There it goes. I need to look at my features on my camera and see why it's just being a big old pain in the tush today. But it is. See? I was able to tie it up nice. Okay. And next. Okay. The mug. I am including this little mug. Let's get up here and see if we can get it to focus. Okay. Long Garfield. There we go. It's not a pretty life, but someone has to live it. Garfield sitting in a hammock. Ah, and he's holding it and he's got his lemonade and his fan. It's super cute. It's from McDonald's. I, okay. It says on here, 1978. I am not 100% sure if that is the year the comic came out or if it's the year that McDonald's did these mugs as a... I don't know if anybody else remembers. I don't think McDonald's still does it, but they used to do, it wasn't just Happy Meals. You, They had products like cups or mugs or, I really remember the cups because my grandmother, my paternal grandmother was obsessed <laughs> with getting these from McDonald's and I have duplicate ones that I inherited. Um from after she passed and I really while I love them and they have the sentiment of being from my grandmother I only need one of each cartoon I have a couple different cartoons this is the one I thought you seen would most find enjoyable I thought it was really cute and so you seen it is not a new thing it's an old thing it's maybe not your style but it's kind of cute, and it's kind of a piece of my family history. So, I don't know if that's weird. Sorry. Um, next thing, I just crocheted her a little washcloth out of some peaches and cream cotton yarn. I love these washcloths. They are great for your face in the shower. They're great for dishes. They're really just great in general washcloths. I really like them and I thought she might enjoy one. Number six, I actually don't have in the room, it's in the kitchen, I forgot to grab it, uh, is, should I go grab it? I don't want to forget to wrap it up. No, I'll go grab it later. There is a box of six truffles from Apple Tree Chocolate. They are a local chocolate shop here. They make and sell wonderful chocolate and I hope she enjoys this. Jason is obscenely jealous that they are not for him. Like I've had to keep his, him away from them since I bought them because he loves chocolate. Uh, she got like uh, three caramels, a cappuccino flavor, and a co two coffee flavored ones. I think is what it was. Okay and then the last thing she's getting in her package I picked up last night from my wonderful friend Julie. Her and her mom sell these and her mom makes them and I think Julie makes them sometimes but I think primarily her mom does. These are stone, I don't know if it's a gem or is it stone, stitch markers. But this is the amethyst. Seriously guys, I don't know what is going on with my camera. Maybe it's just too tiny. Ah, there it goes. Hey, cool. Okay, that's the amethyst. We're going to leave it. This one has two different stones in it, and this one 
Athena. I am quite jealous. They're very pretty. Ah, oh, there it is. Those showed up real nice. This is Jade and Serpentine. And they are just gorgeous. They have some really nice weight to them. I am really pleased with those purchases. And Julie includes in her little packs for them. So this, these, na these are named It's Easy Being Green for the jade ones. Uh, jade is always sim is symbolizes purity, tranquility, and stability. And the serpentine helps to feel in control and corrects imbalances. I thought that was neat. And then, of course, amethysts for the beautiful purple ones. Protects, aids in meditation, and increases consciousness. So, that is Yasina's package. We are going to cut away for a bit. I'm going to fumble my way through some wrapping. We will show it all wrapped up and then be done with that for today. So, see you in a minute. This is my package for Yasina, all wrapped up and ready to be sent to her. Look what came in the mail! And we're just going to take a second and appreciate Jenna's beautiful calligraphy writing on this box. It's gorgeous. Uh, she did, I won't show it on the front because the addresses are on the front, but she did it with my name and the whole front bit is gorgeous. See what I got! I'm so excited! Oh, I opened the right side. Look! How pretty! That is so pretty. Oh, it's a little yarn ball to dot the eye! That's so cute! Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm not going to read it because it says spoiler alert. I want to open things and then read it. Oh my goodness. It's all in this pretty green. green. Okay, let's see what we got. Huh. You cannot go wrong. Oh, with some pretty gray. Oh, it's that Barocco. I love this brand. Look how pretty the gray is. And it's a Barocco Vintage, which is an acrylic wool nylon blend. Oh, it's so pretty. What color is this? I don't think it has a colorway name. It's color 5106. So, oh, that's pretty. Let's throw a picture there. Let's see what's in number two. Okay. Oh, look at that. Notorious. Oh my god. That's so freaking cute. Notorious. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. Pure soup, pure merino superwash made in Peru. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous, you guys. Okay, hold on. We need to get some good camera time on that. Look at that. That is amazing. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to find something really special for that. That is so pretty. Oh my goodness. And notorious. That just cracked me up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Let's see. Oh. I'm thinking this is going to be deliciousness. Oh, 
Dark chocolate sea salt caramel. Yes. Ooh, it's all clean ingredients and fair trade certified. Very nice. Oh, that's cool. Doesn't that look delicious? I haven't had dessert yet either. Guess what's probably happening? We got more. Oh my goodness, we got so much more. Ooh, this is heavy. Jenna, you saint. Harbro gummy bears? Hex, yeah. Ooh, mystery flavors? What? Each of the five bears has a delicious fruit flavor that you will love. Visit guestharbro.com to solve the mystery. That's awesome. Gummy bears are life. We're gonna see what we got in here. This feels more delicate than I'm trying not to. Oh, that's so cute. So it's a little card. This is fabric on the front. And it's a little teacup, and it's got some chai tea in it. That's adorable. Why is this thing not focusing tonight? <gasps> there it goes. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Ooh, this is a fun shape. What's in here? Big Heart Tea, Fiery Chai, Fiery Spices and Naturally Sweet Herbs. It's a loose leaf herbal infusion, no caffeine. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, and it's local. She wanted to find some local stuff, she said. And so this is local to her city. We're not going to say her city because respect her privacy and all that. But look at that. That's so cool. Oh, we still got some more, you guys. Got a couple more little things. It's so tiny. It's so cute. She wrapped it up. Man, she just got more patience than me when it comes to wrapping. I'm not a good wrapper. I hope I do good when I wrap up my package to send to Yasina. I think it's going to be a really cute button. <gasps> Pin. <gasps> oh, Jenna. That's so awesome. Guys. Isn't that awesome? Read local. Oh. Jenna, that's so cool. Okay. And last. Uh, I need more Ooh. So this is a let's see if I can see the brand here. Herbaria Pure Pleasure. It is a all-natural vegan lip balm. No fake flavors, no petroleum, coconut oil, cocoa butter. Oh, Jenna, this is going to be so great. Our winter's here. Let me tell you, while we may not get super cold, we can get really freaking dry. And that's going to be a lifesaver. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys. So... We got the lip balm. We got the awesome pin, which is going on my bag in a couple minutes. 
We got the adorable tea card with my tea in it. We got some more local to her area tea. Oh my gosh, I just caught a whiff of that. Yes. Got awesome chocolate, which is probably going to get eaten here in a little bit. Or at least some of it will. Gummy bears. So excited. And these beauties. Which, Jenna, I know I told you purple and gray. But girl, you nailed it. This, this Hank here. This, uh, this is that Malbrigo. I've heard people talk about this, but I haven't ever actually seen any of their yarn. Oh my. But this, this, we're even gonna, we're gonna do something all crazy here. Look at this. Look at these colors. I have, I'm gonna have to do a little follow-up video tomorrow or this weekend in the sunlight. So that you guys can just see how stunning this yarn is. Because it is so freaking awesome. It's got these purples and these blues and these like greens. The greens in it are just stunning. I do not know what I'm going to make with it. But it's going to be fantastic, whatever I end up making, because, my gosh, it's just beautiful. Okay, Jenna, thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope your fiber share package is as special and amazing as mine is. And I'm going to settle in and read my card, my beautifully written card. And... Enjoy my lovely package. Thank you so much. This is my package from Jenna all laid out and in all its glory. Okay, final thoughts on fiber share. I had a blast. I really did. I enjoyed interacting with people on social media and directly with my partners. I enjoyed the camaraderie of it. I enjoyed seeing everyone's packages because everybody shared on Instagram. So cool to see. Um, some people like, oh my goodness, it makes me feel a little bad that my package was so small that I gave, but because some people went crazy crazy like I think I saw one with at least 15 skeins of yarn it's craziness but I enjoyed it I really I feel like I will be keeping up at least social media interactions with Jenna and Yathena and several others who I've met through FiberShare this FiberShare experience I think I am totally gonna sign up for the next one when it comes up as long as you know budget and time and all that allows, I think I'm totally going to do it because it was so fantastically fun. And I want to thank, I didn't write down the names again, I've mentioned them previously, but both of the women who run FiberShare, thank you for all the work you guys do. This is a great idea and I had a great time with it. Um, I've already eaten all of my chocolate, I've already drank some of my chai tea, I have figured out what I'm going to knit with my Malabrigo yarn, which is going to be that Valderhein hat in my Modern Knits book. Yeah, totally going to do that. I've eaten most of the gummy bears. <laughs> so, I, I really enjoyed this. Again, Jenna, thank you for your lovely package. Yusina, I'm glad you like your package. I hope you get as much joy out of it as I enjoyed getting it all together for you. And until next week, I hope you all take some time to do something that brings you some joy and maybe makes you some new friends. Bye.